Hey everyone, welcome back aboard Submarine Bakuna here at Independent Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. My name is Greg. Have you ever wondered how a submarine dives and surfaces? Well today, we're going to answer that question, and in the process, we're going to create our very own soda bottle submarines. Before we build our submarines, let's talk a little bit about the science behind them. Submarines, and all ships and boats for that matter, float because they are buoyant. The more buoyant something is, the more likely it is to float on water, while the less buoyant something is, the more likely it is to sink. Submarines can dive and surface because they are able to alter their buoyancy. Buoyancy is the upward force exerted by a liquid that opposes the weight of a partially or fully submerged object. If the buoyant force is greater than the weight of the object, the object floats. We call this positive buoyancy. If the buoyant force is less than the weight of the object, the object sinks. We call this negative buoyancy. If the two forces are equal, then we have achieved what is called neutral buoyancy, where the object neither floats nor sinks, but maintains a constant depth. A submarine that wants to dive must be negatively buoyant. Conversely, a submarine that wants to surface must make itself positively buoyant. And a submarine that wants to maintain a constant depth without risk of rising or diving must make itself neutrally buoyant. To achieve positive, negative, and neutral buoyancy, submarines fill or empty large tanks built into the side of their hull. These tanks are called ballast tanks. To dive, vents at the top of these ballast tanks are open to allow air to escape as seawater floods in from below. Once enough water has entered the tanks, for the weight of the submarine to equal the buoyant force of the water around it, neutral buoyancy has been achieved and the submarine can maintain a constant depth. To surface, vents at the bottom of the ballast tanks are open again and compressed air is forced in through the top of the tanks. This pushes the seawater back out achieves positive buoyancy, and allows the submarine to surface again. Let's build our own submarines, and I'll show you what I mean. What you will need to build your submarine is one soda bottle, 12 pennies, adhesive tape, one flexible straw, a drill, one large tub of water. We're using a 20 ounce soda bottle to build our submarine. If you are using a larger bottle, you might need to add extra pennies in order to get it to stabilize properly. The first step is to take your soda bottle and using your drill, make three holes in one side of your bottle. Kids, make sure you get adult supervision to help you do this. What you want to do is make sure the holes are in line, just like this, and do your best to make them evenly spaced apart. These holes are going to represent the flood ports that allow water into our ballast tanks. The second step is to take your bottle cap and drill a hole in the center, just like this. Kids, again, make sure you use adult supervision to help you out. Once you've got the hole in the center, you can then take one end of your flexible straw and insert it into the hole, pushing until you've got about an inch or two poking through on the other side. What this hole is going to represent is the air vents that allow air in and out of our ballast tanks. Once you've gotten this point, if you need to add any tape to make a seal around where the straw enters the hole so it doesn't leak do that now otherwise take your cap and put it back on to your soda bottle submarine now we're going to take our stacks of pennies and put them into duct tape so that they stay together as a single unit again we're using about 12 pennies so we're going to make two stacks of six if you have a larger bottle you may need more pennies you may need more stacks but the point is to put the pennies together so that they create a single unit and they stay together so that they don't slide around or fall apart. So you want a nice package like that. Do this for as many stacks as you need. The next step is to take our penny stacks and attach them to the bottle. These pennies are going to stabilize the bottle so that they ensure that the holes that we drilled for our ballast tanks always point downwards. You want to make sure when you attach your pennies that you don't obscure the holes. Otherwise, that'll prevent water from getting in and you won't have a very good submarine. To do this, all we're going to do is take a strip of tape, 
and attach it to the bottle just like this. Again, remember not to obscure the ballast holes and do this for as many stacks as you need. Now it's time to give our submarine a test dive. So as you can see here, it filled up my kitchen sink and all you want to do is put your soda bottle submarine into the water like so. Make sure when you do this, one end of the straw stays completely dry. If any water gets down into this end, it won't work as well. As you can see, Water is slowly starting to fill the ballast tanks. My holes might be a little small, so if you need to give it some help, feel free to do so. You can see it's slowly starting to submerge because the water we're adding changes the buoyancy of the soda bottle. All right, so we've hit nose first now. Now it's time to surface again. Take the end of your straw and just blow into it. Once you see bubbles, that's a good sign that you've gotten as much water out of your ballast tanks as you can. Your bottle should be on the surface again. Feel free to play around with the design of your submarine. Maybe use a bigger bottle or bigger holes, more holes, more pennies, more stacks. Who knows, the possibilities are endless and only you can determine your future as a naval architect. And there you have it, your very own soda bottle submarine. If you like this video, let us know by clicking that like button and sharing it so your friends can see. Then drop down to the comment section and show us photographs of your own soda bottle submarines. Don't forget to leave us suggestions on future topics you'd like to see us cover in these kinds of videos. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.